Is non-belief a belief system? No, it's not. Okay, so if you don't accept a belief, which is, you know, thought, concept or idea, you don't accept it. That's it. You don't hold that belief. So atheism isn't a religion and it's not a system of beliefs. It's being an atheist, all, it's a single position, single issue. And this has been said so many times before. And it's been said ad nauseum, and yet somehow it's not been listened to. So, and I say this, do you believe in a God? The answer is either yes or no. There's no in between, all right? That does not mean you can't also be agnostic, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But to be an atheist, do you or do you not believe? Yes, no, I don't know, I don't know, you either accept a belief you don't. So if you say I don't know, it means you don't accept it, okay? That is just the way it is, okay? Um, it's just what is your position? Now what you call yourself is no concern to me. I don't care if you call yourself an atheist or agnostic or secular, humanist, you know, critical thinker, whatever. I don't care what if you don't call yourself anything. I mean, who cares, right? This is just talking about the actual belief itself. Okay, so when we're talking about knowledge, all right, in particular knowledge of some sort of God, well, what do you mean, which God for a start, and what knowledge would you be able to have? Because really, in my view, I guess, there's really, you can either be, agnostic theist or agnostic atheist now i'm as hard atheist as they come in fact i would say in terms of what most people call knowledge like i'm a gnostic atheist as in i know there's no god like there's no fairies elves you know um, land fear any of those you know none of that okay there's no devil there's no gods so in, in order, and like in terms of logical, I don't even know what you'd have a logical proposition of a God. I've never heard any version of a God being talked about that's even understandable or comprehensible or rational for that matter. And I used to be a Christian, so okay, I understand that's hard to hear sometimes, but it's just the way it is. But if someone wants to call themselves agnostic, good for you. All I'm asking you, are you are you an agnostic theist? Do you believe in some kind of God? Or are you an agnostic atheist? Do you not believe in some kind of God? Because it answer if you go, oh, are you, do you believe God? If you say anything but yes, including I don't know, means you're an atheist. You do not hold the belief there is a God. doesn't mean you have to be sure there is no God. I mean, I am, I guess, 99.9% .9 sure <laughs> there is no God, all right? I don't know that 100% sure or confidence on anything is actually achievable, but if it was, I would be 100% sure. Okay, look, can I prove there's no God? Well, I'd have to have some kind of understandable, comprehensible idea of a God and what I should be testing. You say, prove there's no God. Well, why? <laughs> I'm not the one saying something exists that is supernatural and doesn't manifest and is indistinguishable from nothing exists. I mean, what does God do? How does it manifest itself? You know, if you're going to say existence, and existence is temporal and spatial, okay? Time, space, space, time is all one thing. So if you're going to say outside of the universe, how the hell do you know that? And how would you even begin to demonstrate something outside of the universe? I mean, you know, I know there's been a lot of, I guess, hypothesis. I'm not even sure the word theory is applied here, but on multiverse. Now, there's some reason to think that there might be. I hear scientists speculating how they would demonstrate that. I don't know. I look forward to them trying that. 
to do that that's great if they can if they can't i really don't care either way it makes no difference to my life but in terms of if you're going to say something exists out of time and space then it doesn't exist <laughs> what it either exists in another universe which is doesn't exist in ours and either has absolutely no effect on our universe that we can ever measure. Because you're going to say if something affects us, then it has to exist here in this universe. So, I mean, I understand this is difficult for people because of knowledge and degrees of confidence. Now, you might not be very confident that there is no God. You might think, oh, well, there could be just something out there. I feel spiritual and not uh, you know but not religious i feel connected well okay great and good for you and i don't really care <laughs> i don't have a problem with those people i really don't um in some ways i feel enormously spiritual i guess in in ways that i feel connected to the land connected to humans we are biologically connected to every other life form on planet we are biologically related to everything human there is and ever has been. We are chemically related to the planet. We are, in terms of physics, we are physics and related to the same degree of atoms and everything. And matter is everything else. Okay, for dark money, dark energy, and I don't want to go there because I don't know much about them. But like, so in terms of that, I do feel connected. I feel one i guess if that's going to make any degree of sense but i don't mean one in we don't all share a collective consciousness that's crap not everything is conscious the universe isn't conscious the universe can not care about us one way or the other it's not possible it doesn't have a brain consciousness is part of our brain our brain does consciousness not just our brain brains do consciousness okay it, consciousness is an emergent property of brains there you go you know more i guess structurally complex and more number of neurons and points and connections means i think better consciousness i'm not sure not a brain specialist not a consciousness specialist but i mean there certainly can't said to be consciousness without a brain doesn't mean things can't react and interact i mean bacteria do that viruses act i guess chemically at least they are on the verge of life if not quite into life although that's debatable by some anyway but this is a thing so this talking about belief do you believe in god it's really no it's a simple question i guess but it, i guess answering it for some people is not that very simple because a lot of people don't know what they mean by God because it's this vague, undefined concept that has as many different definitions as there are people and probably more, you know. And the thing is, it's most people believe in some kind of God or God in faith or because of what they think are experiences from a God. Although if you can't prove the God in the first place, how would you know those experiences are from God? I don't know. I mean, because like people go, if you had these sort of experience, you've experienced consciousness or universal consciousness, or you've ignited divine something or other crap. And well, I get why the feelings that because we have, especially when we're with others, because we are a social species, there is a sensation called when groups get together that groups can be have communal experiences and communal things and see things and hear things that might not necessarily be there. And that has happened and it's known to happen. It's a known psychological phenomenon that happens. It occurs because of the way we work. We also have pareidolia. We see things, we see faces, especially human faces and things that aren't there. And it's, we, because we are primates, we are apes and we are monkeys. Yeah, okay, that's just the biological fact of life. Um, our brains, while pretty advanced, are also capable of being tricked by optical illusions, auditory illusions, and 
the thing is too, like if anyone's spent more than a day with someone who's got severe paranoia, I've spent more than my time with someone with um, psychosis and whatnot. Um, I've had psychosis myself and boy is it trippy. So um, psychosis, you can see and hear things and have experiences that are totally wild. I can tell you that for nothing. And um, they seem very real. In fact, it's very hard to determine them from reality. Because if you're seeing and hearing things the way you normally see and hearing things, if you are feeling things the way you normally see, how do you distinguish something from that's not there, that's your brain playing tricks on you, because, you know, there's chemical interactions that are going wrong from the real thing. Very hard to do, trust me. <laughs> Been there, done that, worn that t-shirt, and i just say I've seen someone else go through that too, and it's extremely difficult. And I think this is the thing where what we perceive we can be tricked and we don't always remember things well and I know I don't have a good memory I know that for a fact there's massive there's some holes in my memory due to things that probably best not discussed here but um and the thing is people think that oral stories that stories passed down by oral techniques um, I remembered really well because people repeat them and make sure the word perfect shown that that's not to be the case they've demonstrated this they've actually tested this and they've also looked at history to show that this is not the case and that's a bit hard you know because we tend to think of ourselves as being reliable but I mean especially you know when it comes to cultural stories People are, of course, I'm with you, you're denying our culture, you're denying our people. And I don't think you have to deny people a culture and just say, well, maybe those stories aren't quite as accurate as we'd like them to be. And, you know, like, especially like if cultural stories start talking about divine or supernatural stuff, that's where we should be going, yeah. That probably didn't happen because we got to think people in our past didn't always have the best of scientific understanding. Doesn't mean they were stupid or ignorant. It just meant they were doing the best they could at the time. And in those times, because it was okay, uh, the sun's dragged across the sky by what Apollo or Zeus or whoever it is, he does it, you know. You know, um, this is caused by a giant footstep standing and causing the basin that looks like toes or something. This is a mountains of pregnant woman that was caused, you know, by whatever. And look, it, stories can relate to, like, they can talk about what happened to your people or your culture in the past. It can relate us to other humans because we all have these stories. And I think it can give a sense of belonging. It can, can give us something, you know, stories can be great. And I like Star Wars, Star Trek, um, Battlestar Galactica, you know, a hundred different ones. Um, I think stories are important to us. And I mean, for all we know, and we don't know because we can't speak animal, um, you know, non-human animal anyway, not very well. Stories could be part of their, at least, you know, the more cognitive of the animals. How do we know it's not? I mean, even if it isn't, I mean, they have other things that seem to be passed down just as much. And so, look, but when it comes down to belief, is whether or not we should believe in God, it comes down to this, is do we care about the nature of truth? And what is truth? What does that even mean? Okay, and like religion talks about capital T truth, that only through God or gods or through the Bible, through the Quran, through whatever you like, that's the only way of finding truth. And that's absolute nonsense. 
The truth is what the facts are. So what evidence can we show to demonstrate conclusively as this is the truth? Now, given our, we, everything is, goes through our perceptive senses, everything, even when we use science that goes through that. We might not know reality exactly like it is, but we come as close to it as we possibly can. But sitting there claiming that some or other holy book um, is the truth is ridiculous. Because the truth lies in the facts, the evidence has to be demonstrated, can't mean just because this book's been around 2,000 years, 10,000 years, whatever, however long it has or hasn't been around, um, doesn't mean it's true. The fact that you claim it hasn't been altered, and they all have been, yes, the Quran, yes, the Torah, yes, the Bible, yes, the Big Baby Reader, all of them have been changed over time. I mean, don't even go there because they have been, okay? But even if it hadn't been, how does it make that better? Because, I mean... There's several thousand, you know, several hundred years or several thousand years out of date. To make them right, all true. I mean, you're saying this gives us some deep spiritual truth. Well, what does that even mean? Because spiritual can is a vague, nebulous term, meaning whatever the hell you want it to mean. I hate using the word, but it's, you know, and the truth is what. So when talking about truth, we are talking about scientific evidence that's it we're not talking about proving proving is a mathematical thing not scientific evidence and no scientific theory which is the highest level of evidence you get anywhere period scientific theory is the highest level of evidence anywhere on any field all the time all right you're never going to get a hundred percent because that's not even how they think it's what does the evidence show and if there's room for doubt they will say there's room for doubt so evolution is true and demonstrable and factual because it's been demonstrated and they're constantly testing it to see where the weaknesses are because they wanted to fail get this okay this is the thing they want it to fail because that would be big for them. They're not all there sitting holding hands going, let's deny creation or intelligent design or any other freaking nonsense. I mean, for heaven, you know, for heaven's sake, I guess for hell's sake, for frack's sake, you know, for reason, I'm not the name that's reasonable. Well, you've got to stop this thing i mean if you want to believe in a god okay good for you but i do care about what you do whether you believe in a god or not okay i do care whether you persecute lgbtqia plus people because if you do whether you believe in a god or you don't that's disgusting you are persecuting people who are the most persecuted people on the planet usually because of religion Okay, not saying that atheists are blameless there, they're not, but usually because of religion or because people are just ignorant and don't want to educate themselves. Especially this anti-trans crap that's going on at the moment. It's bullshit and needs to stop. There's no excuse for it. Okay, I also care whether you deny people's access to abortions because you shouldn't be denying that. People want to have an abortion they want to terminate a pregnancy, they get to do it, okay? It should be a medical decision, not a moral one. If the doctors and whoever else involved thinks that it's appropriate to terminate the pregnancy, they should terminate it. Say, so, you know, even late-term pregnancies because, and let's be honest, I hope the fetus, which would now be a neonate, survives but sometimes that's not always possible and that's sad and horrible because usually when pregnancies go late term the pregnancy is a wanted one okay late term pregnancies are usually only if there's catastrophic failure of the fetus where 
symptoms and bodies in their organs have the organs in the body have not formed correctly and the fetus won't survive or that the life and health or the welfare of the pregnant person is severely compromised and I think we certainly should be allowing abortions in those cases, and we should also be allowing a woman to have premature labor and go into labor and have a child even if she's just sick of being pregnant because here's the thing prenatal depression is a very real problem okay you can get postnatal depression i'm sure everybody's heard of it i suffered postnatal psychosis twice it sucked but i also got prenatal depression antenatal oh my god it sucked it was horrible and i tell you the last couple of weeks in your pregnancy you do not sleep you feel sick you feel horrible and both times when i went through labor the then baby was suffered severe um consequences as a result of one probably the labor and two other genetic related conditions and i was sick as a dog after pre pregnancy too i was sick for like months and months and months in fact years i never got over it in fact <laughs> really and look that's not anyone's fault i chose to have those children and okay that's not their fault now they're adults and um but it's not to, I'm just saying is that going through birth, through labour, is not a risk-free thing. Hundreds of thousands of women die all over the world in childbirth still today. Lots of women, well, lots of people die being pregnant for, you know, related pregnancy problems like eclampsia, preeclampsia. Um you know ectopic pregnancies um women are dying in the united states for some of this shit now because they can't get an abortion for an ectopic pregnancy which is not i mean you you have to abort an ectopic pregnancy you can't take out the little embryo and plant it in the uterus it doesn't work it will not take you have to stop it otherwise the tubes burst and they uh, you have to stop it otherwise the person's tubes burst and they die and that's the end of that end of the baby <laughs> there wasn't a baby in the first place but end of the embryo end of the person they will not survive it they can't at that point okay whereas if you had just operated you would have probably been able to save the flaping tube and save the person you can't save the embryo not at that point you just can't it's not possible and there's no other way i mean and also to like if someone's got preeclampsia or eclampsia you have to deliver okay they have to deliver usually eclampsia and preeclampsia is extremely high um blood pressure during pregnancy and it's fatal if untreated and lots of women die from that too around the world it's fatal um there are things you can give them that might help lower their blood pressure usually sometimes you know they have to sometimes people have to do all sorts of things i mean there's also lots of other conditions that you can't know in early scans like placenta, placenta abruptia and placenta tearing away and things like that rupture and that can be fatal for both these, some of these things can be fatal for both the person and the pregnancy and the fetus. Okay, and there's no other way of this. So if you stop abortion, you are killing people. You know, you might not like abortion, but wow, this is stupid. You know, um, let's go on to more. You know, you want to stop gay people getting married. You won't do anything on climate change because you think Jesus or Muhammad or whoever the hell it's coming back any day now. It's the end of the world, end times, in the rapture, Armageddon. Ugh. You won't do anything because God gave us, well, gave us dominion. Oh, bullshit. Do something. Get off your ass. You know? This is the thing. What you believe can affect 
the way you behave. So you ask us why atheists talk about God so much if we don't believe in a God. Because what people believe matters. Because it affects how you act, how you treat people, what you do, how you vote. It affects everybody else. And those effects have been nothing short of catastrophic. And this is why we talk about belief, because it's important. And I mean, if you just want to believe in some sort of God and be in connection with the universe or whatever, okay, if you want to believe you're a witch or a Wiccan or whatever, I, I don't care. Go for your life. They're harmless. All right? They're harmless. I don't care. Do, do what, you know, just don't start charging people for psychic connections to the universe. Like I know some people... You know who I mean, whoever's, all right? But, so, and whether to call yourself an atheist or agnostic, I don't care. I don't care what you call yourself, or don't, for that matter. I, I do care about what you do, and that what you do can be an effect of what you believe. So this is why beliefs are important. This is why we need to talk about it and discuss it. And this is why, look, I mean, and being agnostic isn't a halfway ground. It's not the middle position, okay? I, I'm not dunking on agnostics here. I've got many, many good people who call themselves agnostics and they're really good people. I, I'm not dunking on them here. But being agnostic isn't a middle ground. It's just a saying it's a different claim meaning knowledgeable are you knowledgeable a meaning not knowledgeable you don't know of any gods you don't understand it so i'm saying is you can be gnostic theist or agnostic atheist you can also i guess claim and i do claim in depends on what you mean by no yeah gnostic theist or a gnostic atheist and this is the problem is when we get down to what we call knowledge and what do we mean and how confident are you Confidence is another level. How confident are you? Well, yeah, again, that relates back to what we're going to prefer to believe and things like that. I mean, I know I'm not going to go to any kind of hell. When I'm dead, that's it. Ugh, who cares? I mean, you know, I don't. I really don't. I don't, I mean, you know, <laughs> is, but threats of hell, I can fuck right off with. Because nobody will like being threatened for a start. And look, if you start threatening them, there's no pop. What am I? No, I don't. Ugh. Yes, you do. Now you don't. Go. I mean, where does it go? Just, what even is the conversation that goes from there? I mean, oh, I used to be a Christian who threatened people with hell. And I'm so ashamed of that. I really am. Because it's a dead end. It really is. And you don't realise it's a dead end. Because you're not making an argument. You're trying to make someone fear. And a fear response, you're going to, oh, let's frighten them into believing God because, you know, God wants us to fear and respect him. No. It doesn't look. It's You're just going to get thought of being a massive dick. Would just suggest not doing it. I don't know. It's not going to stop some. Anyway, I hope this helps. Talk about belief or not belief. What it is, what it isn't. Okay. And why it's important. <laughs>